And it being 9.01, I'd like to call this meeting to order of the Public Works, Works Committee. Uh, I'm going to start out <coughs> uh, with this statement from the Illinois Attorney General. Pursuant to the Illinois Attorney General's guidance to public bodies on the Open Meeting Act during the COVID-19 pandemic, dated July 2nd, 2020, County board members may participate without being physically present in compliance with the established provisions. And I believe we do not have a quorum of members present in the building, so we will be doing roll calls for our business today. Okay, uh, so that is, I am calling this meeting to order, and I would like, uh, can we have a roll call, please? Chaplain? Here. Bessard? Here. Hart? Here. Ozak? Here. Sonatori? Here. Day? Here. Okay, I hope everyone had a good Martin Luther King weekend. And uh, do we have any um, public comment today? No. No public comment, all right. Uh, then I'll move on to number five, our approval of minutes. Uh, I move that we approve the minutes of Tuesday, January 5th, 2021. So moved. Okay, and I have a second. second. And can we have a roll call, please? Uh, Ozog? Yes. Tornatory? Aye. Jay? Aye. Kaplan? Aye. Desart? Aye. Hart? Aye. Okay, next we're gonna move on to budget transfers. And I would like to move that we combine and approve items A through F. Is there any discussion, anything that someone wanted to pull? Hearing none, uh, roll call, please. Do we have a second on that? Do we oh, have I'm a second? Sorry. I'll, I'll second on combining. Second, second, oh, okay. Sorry, thank you. Uh, second from member Zay. And any, again, no comment, uh, no, nothing that any, no items that anyone wants to pull. Okay, seeing and hearing none, um, I'd like a roll call, please, on combining Ozark. items A through F. Ozark? Yes. Tornatory? Aye. Jay? Aye. Kaplan? Aye. Desart? Aye. Hart? Aye. Okay, moving on to our consent items. I would like to move to approve a consent item from Knight uh, Contract Extension to November 30th, 2021 to provide on-call professional architectural and engineering services as needed for facility management and community development. There is no change to the original contract's amount. Uh, can I have a second? Second, Chaplain. Thank you. Any discussion on this issue? Okay, seeing and hearing them. Uh, can we have a roll call, please? Ozak? Yes. Tornatory? Aye. Zay? Aye. Kaplan? Aye. Desart? Aye. Hart? Aye. Okay, next I'd like to move to accept the claims report. Can I have a second, please? Move, Zay. Thank second. you. Second. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Um, do we have any discussion? Anybody? Need to make, want to make any comments? Seeing and hearing none, may we have a roll call, please? Ozog? Yes. Tornatory? Aye. Zay? Aye. Kaplan? Aye. Desart? Aye. Hart? Aye. Okay, and uh, number nine, uh, joint purchasing agreement. I move that we approve the joint purchasing agreement recommendation for the approval of a contract to Home Depot for maintenance, repair, operating industrial supplies and related products for a four year period from February 1st, 2021 through January 31st, 2025 for public works for a total contract amount not to exceed $100,000. Pricing in compliance with um, ILCS 525 or slash two quote, Government Joint Purchasing Act and U.S. Communities Contract Number 16154. Second to start. Uh, thank you. And do we have any discussion about this? Mr. Zay. Yes, uh, thank you, Chairman Ozog. You know, I, 
if you could go over this a little bit, I mean, obviously this is, looks like it's a renewal of a contract, but our information said paint and paint supplies. Then it, in the, the decision memo, it said it was for critical water and wastewater projects. So I'm not sure what actually this contract is for. And uh, Mr. Kottmeyer, I'm going I'm to ask you to... I'm going to give you an idea of okay. all the items they use it for. Yeah, so this is, this is kind of... Uh, You're turning it. Okay, thank you. We use this for all sorts of different things around the water and wastewater facilities from, you know, small pipe under under four inch to tools. Um, we'll buy tools if we need it off of that contract. Um, building materials. So it's we, we spend about $25,000 a year. Um, depending upon what type of in-house projects we have going, um, we we'll use that between twenty twenty-five thousand 25,000 a year. So it's it's more for wastewater for the plants? It's for water and wastewater, yep. Okay, thank you. And also if if the, you're, it, it's a four-year contract with 100,000 over the four years. So if you spend 31 year and um, 25 the next year, whatever, it's flexible within the contract, correct? We, we average about 20 to 25 a year. That's what we average on, on this one. So we would not be seeing this amount coming back more than likely. This, this should cover your expenses for this. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Did um, member start? Did she have a question? Yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know if you can see okay. her. I did. Okay. Yes, thank you. I had a question on this one as well. I wanted to hear the uh, thought process on Home Depot. Is that the place to go for the um, best price that we can get? Um, what we do, I mean, obviously, when we can bid out a project, we will. But when we have, like, one-off buying a piece of pipe or buying a tool, we found that the cooperative purchasing agreement that was negotiated nationally with Home Depot afforded the best pricing. So we, we did do... Uh, we did do price comparisons out there and the fact that we can buy, you know, one item, get it very quickly. This was by far the best scenario for the, the public works department. Yeah, I kind of understood that. So, you know, somebody can pop over to Home Depot to buy, you know, a piece of pipe or a can of paint or something like that. So I, I understood the convenience of that. But Home Depot is, has better pricing than, say, Menards or Lowe's or some of the other. So keep um, in mind, we don't pay what, what is listed in the... Uh, in, in actually Home Depot. So the National Cooperatives are different prices. But yes, this, this was the most competitive that we found. And I know that uh, a number of them bid on that one. And these Home Depot was determined to be the lowest and most responsive on the National Cooperative. Excellent. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate it. Uh, any other discussions about this? OK, thank you. Uh, I'm going to move on next to old business. So we should vote on this? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Brain freeze. Please, um, we've had a, a second. And could we have a roll call, please? Ozog? Yes. Tornatory? Aye. Today? Aye. Chaplin? Aye. Sassart? Aye. Hart? Aye. Okay, I'd like to entertain uh, any requests for, to discuss old business. We, Madam Chairman, we do have one item, um, a big component, our big part of our facilities management team, Dan Barron, will be retiring this Friday after 31 years. Dan has overseen, and he's, you know, kind of in the background, but he oversees our power plant and is extremely vital to what we've, we've done and what, we, what we've accomplished in public works, but uh, he will be missed. We have a lot of good people that We'll, we'll take over, but Dan has been instrumental in everything he's done with the power plant. So I just wanted to bring that up. And he's not here right now, but uh, he's over at the power plant working. I just wanted to bring that up 31 years. And please offer him our thanks and congratulations. 31 years is a wonderful accomplishment. Well, one other item on our old business. Um, our, we collect grease and um, septic waste on the campus. That contract is expiring. It was rebid last month. Um, one vendor did not bid because they wanted a tour of the facility, which wasn't offered. One vendor said they didn't have time to bid near the holidays. So we will be rebidding that. So that will be coming to you probably about six to eight thousand. I just want to inform the committee of that. And and I think we only received one bid, Correct. one proper bid. And so because of the fact we only had one bid, we will be putting it back out on the street to see if we can get more than one bid or bid. 
And what time frame are you looking at for this? For I would guess it would be back to beginning about 60 days, 45 to 60 days. Okay. Uh, and is there an issue with grease collection in the interim? No, no, no. We'll, we'll take care of that in the interim. Okay. All right. Uh, anything else under old business? Uh, Member Desart. Thank you, Chairwoman. Um, I was just wondering and wanted an update. Um, Hindman Auction House was going to take some pieces of the um, DuPage County um, Gallery away for um, to assess its value. Have has that gone forward? Have they done that yet, or where is that in the process? The ball is in their court. I'll follow up with them today. Well, okay. We've had no communication from them, but we will reach out to them to see if we can arrange for the, the appraisal. All right. Thank you, guys. That's it, Madam Chair. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any other old business? Okay. Seeing and hearing none. Any new business? Mr. Zeg? Member Zeg? Yeah. Just informational. I just, it's a personal thing. You know, I... Member Healy had been chairman a long time for this committee. I don't know if people know, Jim suffered a heart attack in December, early in December. So maybe if you want to shoot him an email or uh, uh, thinking of him, he, he had a stint put in. He said he's doing well now. He actually went down to Florida to recoup a little bit, and he's back up in, uh, in Illinois now and said he was going back to work. But uh, kind of surprising. He thought the county would kill him, but actually it's probably not, not being at the county probably got him. So. Maybe you can just like send Jim a note and say you're thinking of him. Thank you, Mr. Zay. I'm so sorry to hear that unfortunate news and we hope he recovers quickly. Thank you. Any other new business? Okay, seeing and hearing none. Um, we move that we adjourn. We need a roll. Oh, <laughs> yes. Chaplain. Aye. The Aye. 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 Thank you, everybody. See you next time.